Hello and welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video we're going to talk about the New York State Diffusion Through a Membrane Lab. We're going to talk about part one where we're going to build a model cell and create a bunch of different concentration gradients and then see which molecules are able to diffuse across the cell membrane and which ones maybe won't be able to. The goal of this is we're going to make our artificial cell made with dialysis tubing, it's a fixed membrane, and we're going to put starch solution and glucose solution inside of our artificial cell. And then on the outside, we're going to fill a beaker, a 400 milliliter beaker with water, and then we're going to add iodine to the outside of the cell. Iodine is actually an indicator for starch, and that will be important during this lab, so keep that in mind. So now we're going to move into the back and we're going to talk about how you're going to actually open up this dialysis tubing and prepare your setup. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a 20 centimeter long piece of dialysis tubing. Take it to a sink, turn on the water, and let it run under the water. And what you want to do is you want to rub it between your fingers and pretty quickly it will start to open up. You'll see it start to move. And then if you carefully try to get one end open and hold on to the other end, you'll see very quickly it turns into an actual tube. So this actually has water inside and it has turned into a tube that's open on both ends. Once you get it to this point, you can let the water out. And then what you want to do on the one end is you want to tie off the end by just making an overhand knot. And now you have a tube that's been tied off on one end and now you can fill the dialysis tubing with the starch solution and the glucose solution and then tie off the other end. So let's go do that. Okay, so in this next part we have our dialysis tubing, we've put it under the water and we've tied off one end and we have one end open. Now we're going to fill about an inch of glucose solution in here and an inch of starch solution and you want to leave a good inch and a half at the other end so you can tie off the other end. And that's actually a good amount. You see how I have an inch of glucose solution. Now I'm going to add my starch solution. And that's actually a plenty, a big enough cell. And I still have enough left over to tie it off. So now you want to carefully push all the excess down, twist the cell, and then tie off the end. And there you have your nice cell. All right, here we are back at the sink and we have our cell tied at both ends. I'm going to make sure that I turn the water on and rub my fingers back and forth and really rinse out, rinse the cell and rinse the ends to make sure that there's no excess glucose or starch solution on the outside of the cell. Okay, the final stage of this setup, we're ready to assemble our cell. So what we need to do is we need to put our cell into a 400 milliliter beaker and then fill it with water until it is covered. And just fill it enough so that the entire cell is submerged in the water. And now you want to add several drops of iodine until you get the beaker a nice amber color. Now we're going to let this sit so here's our complete setup. The 400 milliliter beaker, your cell with glucose solution and starch inside, water filling up and covering the cell with iodine in the water on the outside. Now you want to put this aside, let this sit, and then we're going to come back to it and see if we can tell which molecules diffused in what direction. So this video has covered the information that you need to make the cell and complete the setup. The next part, we're going to be looking at a starch indicator to see if the starch moved and we're also going to be using a glucose indicator. I will cover how to use those indicators in another video. I hope that was helpful.